Their name is exactly what they create. Havoc. The student section here is, uh, they have no rivals. I think they're the best in the country. We've been all over the place. With the Havocs doing their job, the GCU men's basketball team has a lot easier time doing theirs. It's crazy. It, 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 it could change a game, like, drastically. You go on a run and the crowd's in everything. But the problem with having a great student section? You generally can't take them with you. And in those tight road games, it's the other team that usually has the fans on its side, making it tough to win away from GCU Arena. The men's first road win this season came in Seattle during an event called Lopes on the Road that puts purple in the stands when the players need it most. Lopes on the Road started a couple years ago, and it's a program for our fans in other cities outside of Phoenix to attend games and cheer on the Lopes. We've done soccer games, men's and women's basketball games, and baseball games. Fans that register get free tickets, food, and swag. What started in 2015 with under 100 fans a year has grown to almost 1,500. The program was originally designed to connect alumni and online students with GCU, but has the added benefit of making the Lopes feel right at home on the road. And it was unbelievable to go into Seattle and walk out of that tunnel in the Key Arena and see all the purple there. That game against Seattle University was the first of what Grand Canyon hopes will be many road wins as they eye their first NCAA tournament bid. In Phoenix, Delilah Cassidy, Cronkite News.